Just weeks before he was arrested on terror-related charges, Suleiman Khalid was posting videos on YouTube. In them, he presents a series of lectures and offers to answer questions on Islam. Senior Muslim leaders have expressed concern that people such as Khalid are able to present themselves as sheikhs or teachers, but they say there's little they can do to stop them. The words sheikh, imam or hoja or maulana really mean the same thing. Uh, they are learned people who know Islam and they can instruct people on Islamic religion. If somebody grows a beard, uh, dons on a, uh, a religious looking attire and is able to quote uh, verses from the Quran and, and looks intelligent, can fool anybody that they are qualified to be sheikh. We have people have no way of checking. The National Imams Council has called for a national registry. It is a very good to have a registry for, for imams and uh, uh, this is something for, for is something that we really need in, the, in this country. But not everyone agrees on who should set it up and what the qualification criteria would be. The Muslim community in Australia is quite fractured and there are some very disparate groups, different schools of thought and ideologies. And to get everybody to work together on this initiative would be very difficult unless it's led by the, the government. Others say a national registry should not be imposed on Muslims by the government. This is our business and uh, the government maybe they, they can support but the, the, this business is for the imams, for the Muslim community uh, itself. The practical aspects of setting up the registry would be challenging and even with a registry there's really no way of stopping people from styling themselves as teachers and amassing followers, whether it be through backyard sermons or posting videos online. Some Muslim leaders say there should be more focus on training imams to better relate to youth in an Australian context. Brianna Roberts, SBS World News.